this is how I change oil on uh, six, seven Cummins. I pull the dipstick out, take the cap off, put my funnel in there, lift the truck up. Doesn't hurt to check your air filter and cabin filter if equipped under the glove box. It's best for the engine if you drain the oil while the engine's hot. But be careful, the hotter the oil, the more it flows and the more it's gonna splash everywhere. I recommend using product like this to prevent splashing all over the place. There's a 12 quarts in there of hot engine oil. Make sure you let it drain for 30 minutes, even longer when the engine oil is not that hot. While it's draining, I usually do other stuff like tire rotation, fuel filters, check around the vehicle, stuff like that. So I normally don't take the wheels off to get to the fuel, uh, to, to get to the oil filter, but in this case, uh, I had the wheels off anyway, so it's much easier to get to the oil filter. First, I try if I can get it by hand. Sometimes I can, but not this time. So I'm gonna use my the tool just like this. This is a it says. Craftsman three and a half inch to three and seven eighths. So just below four inches when it's wide open. And I usually just am able to get it off with this wrench. I only have a couple inches to work, but in this case it worked just fine and it comes off. Now when you drain the engine oil, usually the oil filter won't leak any oil. But when you tilt the oil filter it will leak oil. So I have a beautiful tool, very cheap, but you screw this in, just made out of plastic, the link is in the description. This is a mess saver. There will be no oil spots on the floor when using it. I just screw it in. It seals on the O-ring. And now I can pull it out mess free. See, no, no oil coming out of it. Beautiful tool, highly recommend it. You can see the oil pouring out after I remove the tool. There's a lot of oil in there, so if you drop it, you're gonna have a lot of oil, nasty, dirty oil that's hard to clean from your floor. Now, if this tool will not get your filter loose, I have this is my last chance to get the oil filter out. This works really good. It's just not that easy to put it on, but it works. This is made by gear wrench and it works. It's highly adjustable. People are using it on heavy duty trucks, Caterpillar and stuff like this. What you do is you slide the strap over it. You just tighten it like so and you put a regular half an inch or three eighths from the other side. I'm really happy I have this. Before I had to drill a hole with a big drill bit, put a big extension or pry bar through it and <laughs> lose it that way. It was a nightmare. This thing is a lifesaver. It also helps 
I always prime filters before I put them back in the car. So I fill it with engine oil and I lubricate this ring. That makes it much easier next time to get the filter off. Oil filter full of oil, lubricated O-ring. I mean, the filter is not completely full full, otherwise it will be just leaking if I tilt it a little. And this is basically, you can only fit your one hand. So you just gotta feel it out, put it in the right spot. Sometimes it goes in easy, sometimes it can take you a little while. And I only use hand to tight it. I don't use any branches. You don't want to over tight it. If you can get a good grip, you might need to degrease the oil filter, make sure there's no oil. Maybe you can even use a sandpaper to get a better grip. But usually when it's kind of dry, you get a good grip and you can just tight it by your hand. Please don't forget, put a drain plug in there and torque it. I've done that and it's not fun cleaning up 12 quarts from the floor. Now on 2018 and older Cummins equipped uh, vehicles, supposed to change the oil every 15,000 miles or six months or 500 engine hours. I would never go to 15,000 miles between oil changes, but that's just me. Um, maybe if I would be driving on the highway only in steady temperatures. As far as the oil viscosity goes, uh, they recommend uh, 15 W40. If uh, the temperatures don't dip below zero Fahrenheit. Otherwise, just use 5W40 full synthetic oil. The quality standard should be API CJ4. Now for the 2019 and up trucks with Cummins engine, we have completely different information. They want us to rely on the oil change indicator a lot more. And there's a note that under any circumstances should the oil change exceed 8,000 miles. Now on these engines, they recommend using 10W30 full synthetic oil if it doesn't dip below zero Fahrenheit. Quality standard of the oil is API CK4 and uh, just keep using 5W40 if the temperatures can uh, dip below. After you fill the engine oil, wait 10 minutes before you start the truck up. Wait for the oil to make its way to the oil pan. Also, don't put more than 12 quarts. Make sure the oil level is never over the max on the dipstick. Otherwise, you're gonna have issues with the DPF filter regenerating frequently and causing very expensive issues. <laughs> 